teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer Hey everyone, this is your girl Talisa K, and I am Jet 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 in. Welcome back to my channel guys and thank you so much for your subscriptions, your likes, comments, and sharing the content on my channel. If you are new to this channel and this video fell on your news feed, I pray that it is a word from heaven above, so much so that you will have the desire to hit that subscribe notification bell. And please don't be shy. Go ahead and comment and share the content. And let me be the first to welcome you to TK's family. You guys, the prophetic word for January 2024 is destiny. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me scripture found in Proverbs. Proverbs 16, 9, and it says, The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Hallelujah. My sister, my brother, if you have not at this point of your life, ask God what your purpose is. I pray that you do so right now. Just hit pause right now and, and ask God, what am I called to do? Why am I here? All of the things you've been through, all of the tests, all of the trials, you've been job to job, check to check. You really are not sure what you're supposed to do with your life, the life that God has given you. And for some of you, you know exactly what to do, yet you are not moving. You are complacent and you're not exercising your gift properly. Your gifts will make room for you. You can make the plan, but it's God's ultimate plan that is going to thrive in our lives. It's going to bring him the most glory. Sometimes we don't know how to start or how to get going. But if we just start somewhere, take the first step. We don't have to see the full staircase. Just take the first step. And that means opening your mouth and asking God, what are you called to do? Some of you are called to be on a platform like this. Some of you are called to be preachers. Some of you are called to be mothers and fathers. Some of you are going to be doctors or lawyers. Some of you may just be out doing ministry for the homeless, going into prisons, Ask God, what are you called to do? What is your God-given destiny? The Lord is saying, it's prayer time, my sister and my brother. We are getting prepared for battle in so many different ways. And if we're not seeking the Lord and asking him, what are we called to do? We're wasting our lives. And the Lord is saying, don't waste your life. Don't just sit around watching reality shows. Don't just sit around being on social media all day. Don't just sit around working, going through the motions, and you're not activating your gift. God has given every one of us something strategic to do, something very unique. And yes, many of us are doing the same thing, but he has called us to do that thing so that we can handle the people in vast numbers. My sister, my brother, the Lord is saying... It's his plans that will make a way in your life. You've probably been struggling trying to figure out why haven't I been married? Why haven't I had children? Why don't I have this sex successful career like such and such? The Lord is saying that is not what you are supposed to be doing. And for some of you who are doing the things that God has called you to do, you're pompous. You have allowed yourself to get egotistical. And God is saying, he is saying in Ezekiel 17, the great tree is made small and the small tree is made great. The Lord wants us to maximize our destiny. He is bringing down some of those arrogant people who have got high up like Nebuchadnezzar and Pharaoh. And you thinking that you don't need God. Matter of fact, you think you're bigger than God. And the Lord is saying, I'm bringing those people down and I'm raising up faithful people, people who have a heart for me because the Lord knows our heart. He wants to know that you want him more than anything, not for fame, not for fortune, but you want God because he is God. Hallelujah. My sister, my brother, I pray that this is a word for someone who has been toiling with where they are in life. Because life is life and your destiny awaits you, my sister, my brother. The call in your life. You have such a high and great purpose. And no matter where you are and where you go, our purpose is to show up and let God speak for us. Talk about Jesus in as few words as possible. You will know when you have activated your purpose. Things are going to seem to fall in place. Your relationships, your career, 
everywhere you go, there will be favor on top of favor. You will receive blessings that will seem like it happened suddenly. That's how you know you've tapped into your destiny. It doesn't mean everything is perfect. Yes, you will continue to go through opposition. You will continue to fight in many areas of your life. But you will have the peace. The peace that surpasses your own understanding. God will divinely connect you with the people who will help you to continue to build on top of the gifts that he has already given you. It is time to dig deeper into your purpose. Go to the book of John. Get closer to Jesus. The Lord says, life and death is in the power of your words. Speak life activate the gifts in the call on your life by simply opening your mouth and speaking positive affirmations over yourself and go before the Lord and ask him what does this word mean for you and for all your endeavors and that's in Jesus name until next time I love you guys bye now